Anybody that's ever had eczema will know that it's a really irritating, to say the least, skin condition. It's unsightly, it is itchy, and it is often chronic and you have flare-ups and times where it's not so bad but pretty much it stays with you. I had it for 40 years so I was a chronic eczema sufferer but when I was a child I had it very severely on my legs so much so that I ended up with um, tar bandages which was the treatment in the 70s to try and make it go away. I can't actually remember whether it did actually do what it was supposed to do. All I know was that I used steroid creams for 40 years. Steroid creams, if you don't know, thin the skin. So they're not a great thing to use long term. But I did, I used it long term because I had no alternative. I didn't want to go around with angry red marks. I had it in the creases of my legs, obviously, because of the tar bandages. I also had it up my arms. I had it on my face. Now, they always say, don't use the steroid creams on your face, but if you're desperate, you generally try to do anything to get rid of it. What I hadn't realized until I was 40 and I came into the health industry was that it was all about what I ate. Most people don't equate what they eat to a symptom that they're having. Now, eczema, of course, is a very visible sign that something's going on. Our skin is our largest organ, and so if there's something going on with your skin, there's something going on inside. But if you don't have skin symptoms, there can still be things going on inside. So if you've got achy joints or headaches, or you're finding that you're putting weight on easily, all those sorts of things, then there's probably something not quite right with the food that you're eating. When I gave up high sugary foods, and I was a sweet holic, I definitely had something sweet every day of my life. I had every type of sweet you could possibly think of. I absolutely adored uh, penny sweets, all those sorts of things. When I gave those things up and sugar in general, and that includes bread, pasta, rice, etc., my skin literally cleared. It cleared within maybe a week. That is very, very powerful. If you've had it for a very long time, which I had, and I really thought I'd have steroid cream use forever, for all my life, to suddenly be free of it was mind-blowing and so exciting that I know I can share that with other people and you can realize that it's in your hands, that you don't have to suffer with any kind of condition just simply by using food as a healing process. How amazing is that? that you can feed your body with the things it requires and it responds by making you healthy. I say that that is the best medicine there possibly can be. And steroid creams have their place, medicine has its place, but for very short-term use. And quite a lot of the time, it extends and extends because nobody's actually keeping an eye on it. And like me, you could use it for 40 years. I could have carried on. It was basically sheer luck that I ended up in the health industry. Giving up foods that are basically a bunch of chemicals made by the food industry that cause cravings and are masquerading as real food just giving those things up cleared my eczema for good. There's literally nothing more you can say. If you get rid of those things, your body will balance itself out and it will be exactly as you want it to be. I would still be standing here today absolutely covered in eczema. 
because it didn't go after my childhood. And it was wholly down to me putting processed foods in every single day, three times a day. It's so exciting to think that your body can heal itself, clear itself of any kind of condition if you give up foods that come out of a factory. How amazing is that?